today I am here with a makeup collection video. I'm so excited about this video. I really hope that you guys enjoy it. And if you do, definitely go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. I'm not trying to brag at all in this video. I just thought it'd be super fun to do. So I really hope that you guys enjoy it. And be sure to come back to my channel next Saturday because I'm also really excited about that video that I'm going to be uploading. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. So starting off, I'm just standing on a chair so that you guys can get the full effect of the makeup. But this is what it looks like. It's just this big plastic piece of plastic basically of like storage space and it's really cute because you get to see all of your makeup like I get to see all my makeup and it's all on display and stuff so I know what I have this really really cute little piece from Paper Affair for only $10 which was such an amazing deal it was like the deal of the decade not decade but it was like the deal of the day basically because I've seen pieces like this I've been researching it and they're like so much money on um, eBay and stuff and plus they ship out of the country and it's like a big piece like this is like huge like you guys can see how big it is I mean like I might not store makeup all the way to the back on some of them but it's like a huge piece of my makeup collection and girls by any chance it's like huge so start anyway. off up here the lighting's kind of off so bear with me but up here I have should I start from the bottom up I should start from the top down okay I'm gonna start from the top down but up here I just have some um eyeshadow eyeshadows I just have some lipsticks and these are like in the front I have my MAC lipsticks and then I have some lip balms and lip glosses and stuff but I don't have a lot of lip glosses and lipsticks up here because a lot of them I keep in my purse because that's where I apply my lipstick the most it's not like I'm just like applying lipstick all randomly like I always apply it right before I go out so I don't look like that white ring around my lip if you know what I mean. Here moving on to my favorite, one of my favorite parts of my makeup collection which is my eyeshadow rack and this rack I told you guys I got from eBay a while back for my birthday and I absolutely love it because it displays all my MAC eyeshadows and I know for a while there I was really obsessed on getting it filled. Filled? And I finally got it filled. Two of them are missing because I think Ashley is borrowing them so I should probably go get those back. But it's really nice and I really like the way it displays all of the shadows. Over here I just have this glass container that I got from mm, Joanne Fabrics. It's just a square container and I just store all of my eyeliners and lip liners in here. Over here I just have this like really large thing glass container and this is actually from a straw container from Target and I just have some of these like bead fillers in there from Joey and I just keep some of my brushes in there. I'm actually in the process of washing because some of my brushes but these are just the ones that I needed to use today to get my makeup done so I didn't wash them. Moving on to my favorite part of the whole makeup collection which is like the whole should be back. Start up on the first row. Um, up here, I just have some NYX eyeshadows, NYX mascaras, and an EM Michelle Fawn um, little pigments. Some NYX proof chunky dunky like lipsticks from NYX and then also like a NYX eye pencil. This is all the stuff that they gave in like the little goodie bags from Beautycon Industry. And here I have these little containers which are actually silverware containers which are like brown like blackish kind of and I thought these were cute. They added like a nice touch to the whole makeup. I just have some MAC eyeshadows. I just have like different ones like little duos a lot of them and then just plain eyeshadows like that so in here i also have more mac pigments some paint pots and fluid lines and here i just have some different blushes by mac i have some in my purse as well so I probably should have gotten those and put them in my collection. So over here is just a fun section. It just has two of my favorite Bath and Body Works lotions. So then over here, I have some e.l.f. little contouring and blushing palettes. Here I just have my um, uh, Rihanna palettes. And then I also have some other MAC palettes down there. Just like the fun one. I love that one. It's absolutely my favorite. It's like a whole like comic thing like that. And I just have some back there. I have I also have the Rihanna palette back there. And yeah, so I have two. They're like two different ones from the collection. There's two different ones. So I have both of those. Back, my Makeup Forever Flash Color Case. And it just has all these colors in it. I use a lot of those for Halloween. So that's what those are good for. I don't really use them on a normal basis. But for when Halloween, I went out and bought that. And I used it ever since. So moving on to the second row. I'm going to kind of speed up a little bit. Because I feel like I'm taking really long. So in this container. It's another one of these containers. But it's a little bit bigger. These were like singles. These were like full. So in here, I just have some more MAC. Um, I have like 
Hello Kitty palettes. Those are like my favorite at a time. If you guys watched my videos a long time ago, I was obsessed with the MAC Hello Kitty. And I just have both of them, both of the collections. And then I have my Archie Girls palette and my Divan... Deanna DeVenture palette, which has like this really cute sunglass case on it. Super cute. Um, some bronzer from a beach collection. Some MSF skin finishing powder. Another bronzer from a beach collection. My holy grail is just silver dust from MAC. I absolutely love this and I'm running out of it, which is really sad, but it's my favorite. And then I just have a holiday palette right here. So then over here, I just have my mascaras. Um, I just have a lot of different MAC and Too Faced and Benefit and CoverGirl. I'm not really much of a brand girl anymore. Like, whatever works really is what I use. I used to be really like obsessed with brands and stuff, but now I'm just like, you know, whatever works, you know, whatever looks good, it doesn't really matter. So I really love the CoverGirl mascara and I've also been using the NYX mascara those two mixed are really good. So then over here I have some palettes. I just have my Lorac to go pro palette which is my absolute favorite. I'm so sad that it cracked but I use that every single day with the blushes. You guys probably seen all my tutorials. I use it all the time. Then I have this Urban Decay palette. Then I have this Barbie Love Stilla palette which is completely cracked but I keep it because it's like a souvenir because it was like one of my first ever makeup palettes besides the Too Faced Natural Eye which I don't think I have in here because I think I actually took it. I have to go get that from her. So then I have my Naked 2 palette and my Naked Regular palette. So that's all that's in here. That's just a bunch of palettes. Then over here I have some mineral, bare minerals, little um, thingies right here. I have this um, Lush concealer and then back there I have two things of Makeup Forever. A tester Makeup Forever HD powder and then a full size of it. I don't really use that that often just because I feel like it peels off my makeup whenever I put it on but yeah. Then over here I have my Primed and Poreless by Too Faced and my Primed and Poreless Wrinkle Injection. That's it for that row. So moving on to the next right row. Right here I just have these little pro box proactive boxes and I literally put these on here. There's like products in there and I haven't used them yet. We got them from the Beauty Con night. Also one of the Beauty Con nights to as well, but I haven't used them yet just because I don't, I'm afraid of what's going to happen, but I thought they looked super cute, the little teal boxes, because they matched my teal theme. And then here I have two more of those de departments, and I have some eyeshadows, some NYX eyeshadows, um, some primers from Victoria's Secrets, a Too Faced eyeshadow back there, a Too Faced blush back there, and then also some drugstore palettes right here so there's just a lot of different miscellaneous things here next just a bunch of different things in those two departments so then over here i have just my Too face um absolutely love this summer eye collection this is like my favorite i'm in love with that i've been using that so much lately oh just love it and then i have my naked eye by Too face so moving on over here i just have my coastal sense 88 shimmer palette my coastal sense 88 warm palettes my hello kitty little pencil liners in a little pack because i love this tin and then i have my mac palette also which a bunch of loose eyeshadows in it from mac. on to the fourth row right here i just have my lorac chocolate palette palettes. I use these to death. They're, every single sh color in here is basically like panned, like hit pan. Like I love those palettes. Um, so yeah, I, I only have a little, a few colors left in those palettes, but they're super cute. I thought they looked cute, like stacked, stacked like that. And then back here, I have my star look little brow thingy bajabber, just like, like a brow. And then I have my whitening lightning bar, bar, brow bar to go, which I absolutely love. I use that all the time. And then I have these proactive makeup wipes. By the way, my makeup's in my bathroom because it's not like I shower. Like, my shower is in there, which is a whole different bathroom with a door. So, nobody judge me like my makeup's gonna get, like, melted or whatever because this is not in my bathroom. It's just in, like... A section like it's basically like a room on my bathroom anyways so moving on here I have some foundations and bronzers and blushes my everyday foundation from Mac which I have none more left of my everyday concealers my Mac Pro long wear a few bronzers from Too Faced Clinique and bare minerals it's like this camera's out of focus but that's all right there that's like my everyday face little section because I use those all the time then over here I didn't really have that much to put in it but I thought this looked kind of pretty so I just have these MAC um little silver dust like thingies pigments and like this long tube I was obsessed with these at a the time as well a Laura Mercier concealer 
thingy, a few different primers. Moving on, I kind of didn't have a filler for this section, so I put some of my favorite perfumes. So then over here, I have more foundations. These are ones that I have, but I don't use every day. Um, there's a lot of different ones in here. There's like one by L'Oreal. There's my MAC um, Studio Fix Fluid, my Laura Marseille, and there's some back there as well. There's like a MAC Tinted Moisturizer um, and my um, MAC True Max Foundation, a Buxom like full tube that I got for free from the Victoria's Secret from Sephora, and then a few little like samples, one from Lush, and then one from MAC. Um, these foundations I don't use that often, they're just for different color changes, if you know what I mean. My Clean Start um, from Dermalogica moisturizer and cleansers and all that good stuff are right here. Then in this section, I have another little like section thingy. And in here, I have my Too Faced blushes, my Ulta eyeshadow thingies. So here. this is one that I have not finished. I still need things to fill this up. I have a few other makeup products that I can put down here. just haven't gotten around to putting them down here. So this is kind of what I have now. Then over here, I have more proactive stuff in those little teal boxes. I have my NYX Natural Eye Little Palettes. I absolutely love these two palettes. Then over here, this is basically like the little miscellaneous department. I have my Clean Start Toner, my MAC um, Charged Water my Beauty Blender, which is also my holy grail, which I absolutely love. I use that every single day. If you do, have not yet tried out Beauty Blender, get one, girl. I'm telling you, it's amazing. My tweezers, a sharpener, and then an eyeshadow that fell out of a palette back there and the lid of the Beauty Blender because I didn't want to get anywhere because it's black. So, yeah, that is my whole makeup collection, and this is a little overview of it. Shadow palettes, concealers, foundations, all those good stuff is all in this part of my room. So if you ever um, get into my house and you want to find out where the makeup is, it's in this bathroom. Area. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, definitely go right ahead and give it a big old thumbs up, and if you have a makeup collection storage video, be sure to post it to me on Twitter. My Twitter link will be in the down bar because I would love to see it, but thank you so much for watching, and I love you guys millions. <sighs> Comment down below and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. So yeah, I love you guys.